for the you watching. Dante's, 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 Dante's boxing nation. Dante's, 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 Dante's boxing nation. A couple of uh, rounds, later rounds. What you thought on the first knockdown, the first knockdown, the very first knockdown? Now, I kind of thought that uh, it was like a flash, kind of like slip knockdown. I didn't feel like it was anything that hurt, but the second one was a legitimate knockdown. It seemed like it took Manny maybe four or five rounds to warm up and look like the original man. Did you see that? Yeah, but I felt uh, Tim start falling in, giving him more opportunities to land uh, bigger shots. Being that he couldn't hit Manny with the shots that he wanted to. Uh, Manny said that he could still make 135 against 140. If he's not done, man, would you like that fight? Of course. What happens, man? After the Manny you saw today, what happens? What do you do against Manny? What do you mean, what I do? <laughs> you know, that's just a fight that you would have to uh, pay to watch. Doesn't it seem like Manny's a little bit uh, more cautious now than he used to be? He wasn't, didn't have that same output as we're used to seeing. Well, you gotta understand, Tim was uh, moving. He didn't want to run into anything that uh, he didn't see that may hurt him. So, you know, he did what he had to do to get the job done. Terrence, do you feel like that second knockdown where Tim got hurt uh, happened in part because he was trying to open up more to make up for the first knockdown? Of course. You know, he was uh, coming in with wide shots falling in and he just got caught. What advice did you give him before the fight? Because you were in his corner uh, before the before he walked into the arena. Uh, what'd you tell him? I just told him to uh, be you and go out there and do what you gotta do. He already trained hard, you know, he did what he had to do in camp and just go out there and show it. Do you think he's fast still? Huh? What do you think of Manny's speed? Oh, of course. Step or no, the speed is the last thing to go. The speed and the power. I feel he's still fast, he still got the power. You know, uh, everybody taking a lot of credit from him, but if, if you sit there and watch him, if you stand in front of him, you, it's going to be a long night. Terrence, what do you think Tim Valley did from that fight? What do you think he should have done Well, he was doing everything that he should have did right in the first three rounds. You know, I felt like when he started falling in and uh, opening up more, that's what led Manny to uh, hit him with the clear shots. But he's Terrence. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, he did really good in this third fight, probably better than he did in the first two fights. Is this proof that he wasn't washed up like fans were saying after the, the Mayweather fight? They were saying he was old past his prime. What would you say? How of would course. you say? You know, uh, I seen a rejuvenated uh, Pacquiao, somebody that went out there and didn't look his age. You know, uh, everybody always say, oh, he's old, he's washed up. But then when he win, oh, it's Pacquiao, this Pacquiao, that. So, you gonna hear a lot of that, you know. When they when they when he lose, then then everybody want to excuse. Oh, his shoulder was hurt. You know when you didn't see anything wrong with his shoulder in the whole, whole fight or after the fight. But then when he win, it's like oh, Pacquiao is this, Pacquiao that. So you got people that uh, when they like somebody. It's just no going wrong with him. It's a win-win no matter what. Win -win. But after that performance, wouldn't it be hard to retire if you're Pacquiao? Well, Two knockdowns. You got to think. You, would you rather go out on top yeah. or risk it? But in boxing, we don't see that a lot where people go out on top like Floyd did or Calzaghi. You just got to, you know, either you go out on top with a win, a big win, or you risk coming back and... You know, risk it. Was that a more intelligent Manny Pacquiao than we've seen before? A smarter Manny Pacquiao? Oh, yeah, he, 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 did, he, he did what he had to do to get the job done. He was very smart in there. He was very patient. You know, he didn't just go out there and just start throwing unnecessary punches. So he, he, he did good. Would you match, would you match uh, Pacquiao's speed, you feel, uh, in a, or do you not need to to beat him? Well, it ain't all about speed. It's about timing. You know, I feel like I got a lot of... Uh, a lot of advantages over Pacquiao, you know. Uh, in particular, you know, what advantages in particular? You have to see. <laughs> Does his uh, aggression probably play into your hands? Of course, you know. Uh, like I say all the time, just because this fighter fight this one fighter like a certain way, he's not gonna fight me that way. You know, I don't expect a fighter to fight every opponent the same exact way. You know, unless they a straight come for a fighter, and that's the only 
way they know how to fight. Did you see him fighting in spurts tonight as opposed to three minutes of every round? Or? Well, you know, you can't you can't say he's fighting in spurts when somebody moving. You know, he gotta he gotta catch up to the person. You gotta get the person to stay still. He gotta make sure the person ain't trying to set him up with a with a shot that he walk into. So you can't say that. Hey, Terrence, were you, when you were watching the fight, were you looking at it and saying, man, there was an opening right there, right there something I would have did? Were you basically saying that to yourself? Of course. I, I do that with all fights. You know, uh, you see something and you be like, oh, I would have did this, I would have did that. But then, at the end of the day, you don't know what you would have did because you're on the outside looking in. Yeah. You know, it's easy to be a spectator and say, oh, man, I would have did this, I would have did that. But then when you get in the ring, it's a totally different thing. Like, a lot of people be like, oh, man, if I fight this guy, I'll do this. And then when they fight the guy, they end up losing or getting knocked out. Like, man, it wasn't like I thought it was. Back up, back up, look good for um, Canelo for Pacquiao, but he seems so much bigger. Manny's such a small welterweight. Doesn't it seem like it'd be more, make more sense to fight you? Of course, you know, uh, Canelo's at 154. Yeah, 155. 155, <laughs> you know, he's, he's a 160 pounder champion, but that fights at his own weight that he made up. But I don't see that fight getting uh, made. I don't feel Canelo can come down lower than 155 pounds. And I don't see many going up to 155 to fight him. I don't think he can put on that much weight. He has to eat just to stay at 147. Yeah. yeah, so I don't see that fight happening. Oh, all right, so thank you. I believe uh, it was said that you've agreed to your part for the post-all fight now. And you said, I believe you tweeted it's in his court now. Is that where we're at? Of course, of course. You know, now the ball's in his hands. You know, everybody wanted, want the fight. I agree to it. Now, let's see all the bloggers say I'm scared and whatever they're going to tweet about. Tell him to sign a contract. What is he hesitant about right now? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything. I just know I agree to the fight. And July 23rd is the date. Unification uh, about. And that's where we are. Did Aaron ever bring fight. up Mikey Garcia and did you agree to a Mikey Garcia fight at some point in your career? I never heard of uh, Mikey Garcia wanting to take the fight or even wanting to fight me. So that's a fight that I'm just now hearing. If it was, we would have been gladly to, to take the fight and fight him again. This fight with uh, Postal will be a unification. Everybody thinks it's a beautiful fight. You fought Gamboa, so would this be the biggest fight of your career thus far, toughest fight maybe? Well, we have to see. Right. You know, I can't call any fight the toughest fight in my career until I fight it. Right. You know, and then I can judge after the fight. What have you, you thought of Postal? Post Are you moving? Of course, of course. And why everybody keeps saying move up? I just <laughs> moved up. Hey, you know, this is my third fight. Well, that's a unified fight. That's that's the same. You in that pack, yeah. That's the same thing that I was telling my man's over here the other day when he asked me. I just moved up to 140, and everybody's saying I'm too big for 140. When I just moved up, when they said I was too big for 35. So when I move up to 147, they're gonna say the same thing. You know, you, you think never, some people they want to put you at a disadvantage. You think possibly I they guess think so. you may be too good, and they're like, man, so. we got to put them at a disadvantage. I guess so. You know? Yeah. yeah. Let, me, uh, let me ask you real quick again about Manny Pacquiao. He looked real good tonight. What separated him from from um, Tim Bradley tonight? Well, uh, speed, speed, and uh, intelligence. You know, I felt like he out uh, beat Tim Bradley in that fight. He made Tim Bradley fall in with a lot of shots. He made him uh, overly commit to some of the shots that led him to land some of his shots. So that, that led him to the victory. Terrence, the last, last question for you. Thank you. What, have you got a chance to size up post-off? It, it ain't about sizing them up. You know, once once we fight, then that's the, all the sizing up you're going to need. You know, I can size anybody up, but what does that matter, matter me? I didn't fought people that was taller than me people shorter than me, people that same size, same height. It really don't matter unless you utilize what you need to utilize and take away what you need to take away to get the job done.